Hi everyone, Nathan Stein with Pix4D Fields. Today I want to talk about how to get a great flight in a great map. Now, before we show up in the field, before we put our propellers on, we need to answer a few questions first before we go mapping in the field. Primarily, we need to know what is the application that we're trying to accomplish, whether that be a scouting mission or a fertilizer application or a plant stand analysis. For trying to do plant stand analysis, for example, we're going to have very small plants. These small plants are very hard to detect by multispectral sensors because they have lower resolution. But RGB sensors, uh, such as this one here, or other sensors that are coming on the market that are 50 and 60 megapixel, can easily detect these small plants from even 400, or 400 feet or 120 meters. Later in their development cycle, corn plants have plant leaves that are much broader and they end up covering ground completely like these beans behind me. In that case, we do not need high resolution sensors and those multispectral sensors may be more advantageous, especially if you're trying to create a treatment such as a fertilizer recommendation for nitrogen or if you're trying to put on a fungicide application. If that's the case, you may wanna do a special index analysis such as an NDVI or an NDRE. In this case, multispectral cameras are much more equipped for that. And ultimately, you wanna check your progress to see if you made a difference with that prescription. And so you might wanna map afterwards. And in that case, a calibrated multispectral camera is very advantageous for that application. You may wanna have higher uh, spatial or geospatial accuracy. In that case, you may want to have an RTK antenna on your drone. This one doesn't have an RTK, but you can purchase several different types of RTK antennas and different RTK-enabled drones. That RTK imagery comes into fields and is processed at that level of accuracy that it was captured. So in this case, you might be able to do plot trial analysis over a repeated amount of time, and you may be able to analyze those plots um, in sequential order without pixels moving at all. Or you might be able to create a, a targeted application map to maybe spray the weeds in this field behind me and make sure that the spray drone goes exactly to that location. Lastly, we want to talk a little bit about the environment and the mapping uh, uh, coverage that we do. Now, it's fully sunny or partially sunny. We do have one cloud up here that looks like it's there now. It is actually a nice mapping uh, day. And you could fly this field as long as it's consistent is what matters mostly. As soon as a cloud grows across the field, it starts to bias. As you can see, it's starting to dim a little bit here. And that might not be a good mapping um, day mission for maybe a fertilizer recommendation. However, if it's just for scouting and you just need a general map for an RGB image, having a few clouds doesn't make a difference. If you are making some sort of an index analysis and you're using a, a nice multispectral camera, it would be important to wait for the clouds to be either fully sunny or fully cloudy. Uh, if an occasional cloud does come, you may pause your aircraft or just wait until it passes so that you're not analyzing a cloud and putting a prescription or a variable rate prescription in place that would probably fertilize that area. Finally, I just want to discuss flight plans. This is very easy to, sh to show. Most flight plans have lawnmower pattern flight grids. They fly back and forth and back and forth. The most important thing to know is that we need to capture images in 80% overlap in their frontal overlap. So that's in order as they travel. And then the side overlap needs to be in about 70% to 80% overlap so that we have enough overlap here so we don't have holes in our maps. So in closing, you can see the most important question you can ask is, what is it that I'm trying to map or analyze? If I answer that, it's easy to determine the drone and sensor and any other parameters that we have. And if you have any tips that I didn't mention in this video, please go to our community site and you can submit them there. Otherwise, you can ask a question to our support personnel at any time. And if you haven't done so already, go to pix4d.com click try it for free. There you can download Pix4D fields and you can try it on your acres and see what it looks like on your fields. That's all I have for this segment and have a great flight. <laughs>